Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. It is time for my project pan update. So this is my round four update number two. Um, I, I have empties. I have full size empties. I have sample size empties. I feel like I made okay progress. So let's start off with the full size uh, empties. This one here is the L'Oreal Nude Magic BB Powder. It's done. The lid, yeah, the lid fell off for some unknown reason. So this was so close to being done on the last update. I was really disappointed I didn't get it finished. It literally took me like, I don't know, one or two uses to finish it. Um, so that one's done. Another one that I finished is the Billion Dollar Brow, Brow Gel. Now, I took the stopper out of this. Um, I had the stopper out of it on the last update. That was a mistake because it was really difficult to use. Um, but it's done. There's a tiny bit of product still in the wand, but I mean the wand is brown. It shouldn't be brown. It's disgusting. The tube is empty. I don't think you guys will actually be able to see it. Um, but it's all done. All completely finished, done, empty. I'm glad. I'm glad it's finished. It's not something I would repurchase. It's okay, don't get me wrong. I actually purchased this in a set of Billion Dollar Brow products, so you got to try a bunch of things. Very good value, um, and not bad eyebrow products by any means. So if you have seen the set that I'm talking about, it's got like a pencil, it's got a dual-ended concealer and highlight pencil, and it's got this along with something else, a brush. There's a um, brow brush in there as well. If you've seen the set and you're curious, they're not crappy products at all. Um, it's just not one that I would repurchase for myself. My last full size empty is the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. So these were my starting lines and my previous update line. And the product is, it, I mean, there's still product in there. There's no doubt about that. I can clearly see it in the bottle. But it doesn't pump out. Like, it does that where it sort of spits out this tiny, tiny little speck. You can see, can we see? Can we see? No. Um, it's just, like, it's fucking useless. Um, I have tried to take the top off. I've tried to use pliers. I've tried to, like stick a spatula under there, which I broke. Um, and the problem is with MAC items, since this one doesn't screw off, you have to pop it off. To use this as a back to MAC item, you have to get that top back on perfect, like it was never tampered with. Um, and because I haven't managed to do that, to me, this piece of crap is more valuable as a potential back to MAC item than it is getting in there at that crappy ass concealer. So. I'm considering it done. Um, I endured this and I it's not something I would ever repurchase. I don't think it's that great. The coverage isn't that good. Um, I mean the coverage is okay but it's not that good and it's kind of quite thick for what I would consider a concealer with not much coverage. So would not repurchase. Alright let's move on to the masses of um, makeup samples that I have. Let's do some priming stuff first. Okay, so I have the NARS Pro Prime Light Optimizing Primer. There's a little tube there. Um, this, it doesn't do anything for me, so I wouldn't repurchase it. The Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original, I really like this stuff. I would repurchase it. Um, I'm hoping that next year to pretty much be out of, oh no, hang on, I got a couple of backups. Alright, I'm not going to be out of eyeshadow concealer anytime soon, but this is totally going on my list of eyeshadow primers to purchase in the future when I need them. Base products, um, so these are all like foundation BB cream type things. Um, I did finish these all in October, but all of them had already had significant progress. So. I have the Touch In Soul Pure Dew Water Drop BB Cream. Um, this is a Korean product, I believe, or yes, it's a Korean product, and um, Koreans have, with some of their like beauty products, mostly their like face creams, serums, and also some of their colored base products, they have this thing where you put them on and they release a fluid, um, and this is one of those. And it's kind of cool. 
uh, it's great if you've got dry skin. Uh, this one in particular has nice coverage as well, not too bad. Typically I don't like BB creams, um, but it is just, the colour's just not quite right for me. Um, but if you're, you know, if you're into BB creams and you like Korean products, I would definitely recommend giving this one a go. You can find it at Priceline stores. So, there you go. The next two I have are the Clarins Skin Illusion SPF 10 Makeup and the Luna SPF 25 BB Foundation. Um, this one, I don't really like it. The coverage is just not even there. I'm, it's not... I mixed this with a foundation that was too dark for me, that's the only way I made it work, otherwise I would not have kept this, I wouldn't have kept going with it, it no, do not recommend, um, unless you don't like any coverage but you still like taking the time to put some sort of extra base product on. Uh, the Clarins Skin Illusion, I do like, this is medium coverage, it does set to um, I would consider it a semi-matte finish. Uh, it's nice. Coverage is, it's okay. You can definitely build it up. Um, I would probably consider repurchasing this in the future, possibly. So, there we go. I have a few eye samples here. So, this one was just like a, an eyeshadow sample. It was like a pink foil color with like an orange shift, really interesting, very pretty. Um, I It's not something I would repurchase, but I would totally keep my eye out for a color like this because it was really nice. Like the shift from pink to orange, like this fiery orange, so pretty. Um, next I have a pencil. This is the Lord and Berry something, something, something. It was a pencil in black. Um, I sharpened it one day, the end fell out of it, and the pencil is literally like wedged in the cap. So there's nothing there and it's on the floor now. My last eye product is the Longcom Hypnose Drama Mascara in Excessive Black. Um, this sounds, sounds like there's product still in there, but um, it's doing that thing where it flakes and starts to like transfer during the day, which is a sure sign that a mascara is giving up the ghost. Uh, so I'm done with it. I will say though, this is a really fucking beautiful mascara. It lengthens, it adds volume, it separates, it's pretty, it's nice, it's very black. It is not waterproof, so if you need waterproof, don't go there. But um, I, I actually think I have another sample of this, or it's something from the Hypnos line and it's a mascara so I'm looking forward to using that eventually. Um, this one I would probably repurchase. And final empty samples. I have three mini lipsticks that I've been working on for fucking ever. Like seriously, these just do not quit. This one is the Clarins Jolly Rouge Soft Berry 705. There we go. It's a nub. Uh, this is a like a dark sort of berry nude. Uh, it's a pretty colour. Let's see if we can... There we go. Little swatchy swatch. So there we go. Very pretty colour. Formula is really nice. It is kind of glossy on the lips. Um, would I buy it? Look, probably not. Clarence lipsticks aren't the cheapest and if I'm really going to drop dollars on a lipstick, I'm probably going to go for like one of the new MAC Lip Tensity ones, or maybe a NARS Audacious, or something like that at this point. So, very nice. Nothing wrong with it at all. Just right now, lipstick buying is not on the top of my priority list. Another one. This is the Lancome Le Absolu Rouge. I don't know. Fucking, I don't speak French. Um, I went to put this on one day when it was like a little nub and I'm like, getting so close. And it literally like, it broke off in the center. You can see like how deep it dug down into the, the barrel. It stuck on my lip for a second and then it fell into my lap. So, it's fine. It's done. I really only had like maybe a week's left of application in this. So, it's good. It's good. It's okay. I'm considering it done. 
it was a seriously bright red. I don't know if I'll actually be able to like get colour, but let's... You can kind of get the idea there. It's like intense red and intensely glossy. Um, not something I would buy. I've got a million red lipsticks. It's fine. I will live without it. And this one is the... Uh, is this another Lancome? Jesus Christ, how many do I have? It's Lancome Rouge in Love. Uh, it was like a pinky coral. Let's... Yes, there we go. This formula is kind of weird. So you can see there, tiny little, like, there's nothing left. Shade is right here. It is like a bright pinky coral, but the formula is kind of, I don't know, it, it's almost like a, a thick gloss. Um, it's okay. I didn't really love it. I wouldn't repurchase it. All right, on to the last few items I want to show you guys. Uh, these are all things that I am throwing the fuck away because they are crap. They're crap. I don't like them. They did bad things to me. So first up, I've got the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Essence de Gloss in 462. This is kind of like a plummy purple gloss. There it is. Um, I've worn this a few times and I was like, yeah, it's alright. Um, it was kind of bleeding a little bit like around the edges of my lips which was annoying so I'd always have to wear like a lip pencil with it um and then one day I put it on I was doing a wear test of the new Urban Decay foundation and when I like it didn't look bad in person but when I sat down and I was editing that footage I was like oh my god that lip gloss is disgusting like, it is so ugly and it looks so bad on film that I can't use the footage. And I applied it right at the end when I was giving, like, my final thoughts. And it ruined the whole video. So I need to refilm that video and I need to throw this fucking shit in the rubbish bin. Another lip gloss that I'm throwing away. This is the Napoleon Purtis lip gloss in Peach. Uh, it is really thick, really sticky, it is like an orangey peach colour, and it has a brush, an actual brush applicator. It also stinks. Um, I don't like the colour on me, it does not look good, so I'm just not going to wear it, I'm going to throw it away. Another item I'm throwing away is the Avon Simply Pretty Plug and Play Mascara. This was just a little sample. It does nothing, absolutely nothing for my lashes, like jack shit. If jack shit was a thing, it would be this mascara because it does nothing. This one here is a sample that came in a Sephora order. It is the Moonshot Multi Protection UV Bouncer SPF 50 Plus. I don't even know what the fuck it is, to be honest. I think it is a sunscreen. Um, this had such potential because... The consistency of it is really, really thin, and it kind of, like, it dries completely matte. So I was just like, holy shit, this is exciting. Like, this may be a sunscreen that is ridiculously expensive. I can only get it at Sephora, but it might actually work for me. Well, it broke me out, so there's that. And the final thing I need to show you are updates of the products that I'm still working on. So I'm going to start with Benefit Hula. It is still the fucking same. What's wrong with you? Why don't... Honestly, I feel like repressing it was the biggest damn mistake I ever made in my life because now it's going to take me three years to hit pan on it again. Uh, the pan is very thin, so I'm, you know, I'm hoping maybe one day I'll get there. Um, but, you know, I'll keep going. I have a bunch of pencil items here. I'll put photos up so you guys can see uh, proper progress. First up is the Gorgeous Cosmetics Lip Pencil in Strawberry. Uh, I have about the same progress as I did in the last month's update, so I'm still going with this one. It's a good shade at the moment because it pretty much goes with anything that I want to wear, whether I want to wear 
like a nude or a pink or whatever it doesn't matter I can always wear this one the next one is Revlon color stay in raisin this is also a lip liner I do not have as much progress on this one as I did on the last update and that is because I am slowly losing interest in wearing darker colors at the moment so my preferences my preferences are starting to change with the weather and this isn't getting as much use but I am going I'm going to try and power through this I'm going to try and like stick with the dark lips for a week or two and get through that honestly considering how much I used this in October I reckon if I wore this every day for about eight or nine days it would be Dunsky. The next one is Mac Ola Viola. This is an eye coal. I used this once. So you can see how much progress I made with just one use. Um, that's because the formula is so creamy and you can like, you know, put it everywhere. Usually I use it as an eye base. The reason I didn't use this much and it was my plan to actually finish this this month. I was quite confident that I could do that if I used it as an eye base pretty much every day. The reason I did not use it is because I've been testing out so many new eyeshadow palettes and I didn't want this pencil to alter how the, um, the eyeshadows looked or applied or anything like that. So I just use the eyeshadows as I would normally and I didn't, you know, I didn't get around to using it, which is a shame. Uh, the next one is the Billion Dollar Brow Universal Eyebrow Pencil. This thing is still fucking going. It's so annoying. Um, I, it's hard for me to use, honestly. The colour is... I'm wearing it today. It kind of looks alright on film, but to be honest, in person, it just looks too dark. Um, I need to use very little of it and sort of smear it out with a, bra uh, with a brush smear it sounds lovely um so not a huge amount of progress uh i think let me check my thingy yeah i have about the same amount of progress as last month which is you know that's good but it's not going to be finished by the end of the year which is a shame and my last item that i need to update is the hugo boss woman perfume i have more progress than last month which is great I was using it a lot um, I actually I don't mind it to be honest um, I can you know I'm, I'm happy to apply this every day sometimes I retouch or reapply in the evening um, which is why I have extra use this month um, and I feel like it's growing on me more than it was when I first started so that's good. Uh, I won't finish it, obviously, um, but I am just happy to be getting a jump on that one for 2017 when I will bring it back and try and pan it again. Alright, so that's it for my Project Pan round four update number two. I've got one month left. I'm very excited. Um, I don't know how much I will use up in that month, realistically, but you know. We keep going. That's the whole point of these projects. Just keep going. Uh, so I'm going to start putting some numbers on the screen. First, I'm going to have, like, the amount of empties that I've got going on and the amount of things that I threw out. I am then going to put up numbers of... What are we putting up? Ah, uh, total samples that I currently have, new samples, blah, blah, blah. So you guys can get an idea of how many makeup samples I'm still dealing with. Uh, and finally... Let's put up the value of the used products. This is always the most exciting part. I have not added it up yet, so I don't know what it is. Hopefully, it's good. Is it good? Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. I don't know anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget you can check out Kat and I over on Beauty News. And you can also come join the Beauty News Facebook group. That will be linked down below in the description box, along with a blog post with all of my... Project Pan crap photographed in the one spot. So you can check that out if you like. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.